and welcome to the Flex with Aaliyah. If you're just tuning in, welcome. If you're a returning follower, thanks so much. And if you haven't yet liked, share, comment, I'd appreciate it. Today, I'm talking about morning routine. Is it beneficial? What does my morning routine like? And then I hope you get some tips on how you can better wake yourself up in the morning and start a routine that works for you. And I'm going to kick things off with a quote, like usual. I actually have two today because I couldn't decide which one I liked. And this one is, a solid morning routine sets you up for a focused and energized day. I like this one because... I agree that a routine, it doesn't need to be exactly the same, but somewhat structured or a rhythm to your morning sets you up for success throughout that day. Whether it's you're always going to get up and walk the dog, make some coffee, whatever your pattern is, having that rhythm feels like you're already accomplishing something right off the bat. That's why I like this particular quote. And then the other one is lose an hour in the morning and you'll spend all day looking for it. Oh my gosh, I could not agree more. Have you ever had one of those days, even if it's multiple days, where you were supposed to do something and you didn't do it right when you initially had planned and then the rest of the day you're just playing catch up? Yeah, that that happens to me. I wouldn't say a fair bit, but it happens. So this quote really resonates with me where if I don't stick to my pattern or my rhythm, I'm pl- I'm trying to play catch up all day. And sometimes I can and sometimes I can't. And I just get backed up for the rest of the day. And sometimes it's not my fault and sometimes it is my fault. So a morning routine. You know, what is, what is a morning routine? A morning routine is a set of actions that you do every day. For me, I get up really early because I work at 5.30 in the morning. That's when I have my first class. And I used to get up maybe at five. And then I'd rush over here, usually walk, because I have my dog. But then I'd, I'd be feel still feel tired or sometimes I would I rarely snooze my alarm but I would just lay in bed because I didn't want to get up because silly me I went to bed too late and that makes sense if I go to bed too late I'm getting up so early I'm going to be tired in the morning which is a separate note I want to set myself up for success by preparing the night before and recently I've shifted my routine I noticed in the mornings when I was teaching, I felt tired. I wasn't as awake. I didn't feel like I was bringing my best coaching self to my clients. And I'm also a morning workout person. So getting up and not actually working out, but coaching other people to work out was a shift for me and my training. Now, I've been doing this for a couple years now with this new routine. So not working out right away wasn't that new. But sometimes you don't realize the effects of it. You know, I did have knee surgery a couple years ago and I would run before my my classes in the morning. I'd run over here with the dog and then I'd definitely be awake in the morning. And (laughs) you can tell it's almost like I've taken pre-workout, but I haven't. I'm just riding the waves of uh, a runner's high right there. So this year, what I actually started doing for my morning routine is I get up, obviously, you know, I brush my teeth, I go to the bathroom, I give my dog a little snuggles, and then I get up, I either walk to the gym with or without my dog, or sometimes I'll drive. And then once I get to the gym, I do a core workout. It's not the same every day. Typically, I do three days, then a rest core day, two more days, and then another rest. That equates to seven days. And I cycle through that pattern. And when I didn't feel like programming for myself, because I program for a lot of people. As a trainer, sometimes it gets tiring and you just don't want to do that. So to handle that issue, 
I had been following a, it was actually an ab program. I'm just calling it core because sometimes I shift the movements depending on how I'm feeling. Was an ab program, I think think it was Carrie Pierce, Carrie Pierce. And I had bought it a long time ago before COVID, I think. And I, every so often I go back to it. I was like, okay, I'm just going to do this in the mornings now because even if I want to do it later in the day as a warm up, it, it's still kind of doesn't work for me as a warm up. It works by itself. Just something quick, short, and easy to do right away. And when I first started doing it back during COVID, I noticed that my core got stronger. I wasn't focused on getting abs, even though it was an ab program. So I quantified it as core. Was my back being less achy when I did heavy lifts? When I sat or drove a lot, was my back less cranky? So in the mornings, my back is cranky sometimes. And with this program that I started doing, or this morning routine that I started doing, that blood flow and movement, my back felt really good. So then when it came to the class, Not only was I awake, but I was warmed up. That way, when I had to show squat snatches or back squats, my range of motion was already warmed up and I wasn't aggravating my back or being stiff when I showed them in class. And I noticed that early on that my energy level was better. So now it's probably been, I want to say four four months, probably four months that I've been doing this religiously. In the morning, I do my normal routine of brushing my teeth and getting my food and everything like that. But once I get to work, and I make sure I get to work early, even with enough time, if I'm pressed for time, I still get it in. I force myself to do it. The, this 10 minute or less, it's usually nine to 10 minutes. Whatever it is, I do it. And recently I shifted it. So I'm no longer doing that program and I wrote mine because now, now it's been some time. I got a little bored with it, doing the same ones that I had been cycling through, same workouts. I wanted to work on some grip and core. So I made it a little grip core program for myself. Also to test out for clients that I may give it to at some point to incorporate into my morning. Like this morning, I did three rounds, one minute plank, one minute wall sit, and a one minute chin up hold. So chin up hold, I'm holding my chin over the bar, not resting it, and my elbows are bent with my palms facing my face. Then I had 30 second rest. So I did that three times today. Yesterday, I had did a different core and grip upper body workout. So I'm trying to include a little bit of upper body, whether it's specifically my grip or bicep focused and core. So yesterday I did a descending ladder of 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, barbell curls and butterfly sit-ups. Other days sometimes are a little less intense where I'm doing a Superman exercise and pelvic tilts, mountain climbers, And this morning routine, I love it. Now I have noticed that when I go away to visit my boyfriend, I do not do that morning routine. And I need to actually create a new routine for when I'm in a different environment. And sometimes, have you ever noticed that where you go visit family or friends and things don't fall off the wagon, but they shift? And that's what I noticed that when I'm not here at work, that it adjusts, not intentionally, but I'm not thinking about it because that pattern hasn't been ingrained in that other environment. So I need to start doing that, but it's not that frequently that I'm traveling to visit someone and I'm now doing this whole new routine. Or if I'm smart, I prepare ahead and I use that as my rest day. And that little quick workout, it invigorates me, makes me feel awake. And I've been pretty consistent with it, which I'm super proud of. And I would consider that a type of self-care. You don't need to do a workout like that 
you could get up and do 10 minutes of stretching, five minutes of stretching, or perhaps it's walk and see the sunrise. Take your dog for a five minute walk or a 10 minute walk. All this morning routine is doing is giving you like a little goal and sense of accomplishment in the morning to get your energy up, your energy level up. That is the goal in my mind. That's what I use it as. How can I make myself feel the best I can feel at 5.30 in the morning? And for me, that's a short little workout, some dog cuddles, and then right on to work. Other things you could do are take a hot shower, read a book, ride the bike as you watch the news or read the news. Now, some of the things I don't do because I don't, I don't watch the news. I don't need a shower early in the morning. I don't have time to read a book or that's not what I would choose. But those are some options that you have. So what are the benefits of having a morning routine? Well, it can help you manage your stress. A consistent routine can reduce the anxiety and stress that you have in the morning because you have a set path that you're going to complete right when you get up and you know what it is. Not like a homework assignment, but something that you enjoy. It boosts your energy. So like example, exercising in the morning can give you a little turbo boost and bump up those energy levels to awaken your mind and body for the rest of the day. It can improve your focus. So it can help clear your mind, help you set goals for the day, which can lead to more organization throughout the day and how you approach the day. You might notice that you actually are a little bit more productive setting aside that time in the morning to get going and cross a couple of things off your list. It also can boost your confidence and maybe motivate others around you to participate or set their own routine. And probably one of the biggest things is that a morning routine kind of helps us set the tone for the day. And it allows us to better control our schedules than our schedule control us. And some people really like that idea of control, whereas others like it a little bit more fluid. And that's one way to look at it. And that really makes me think of those quotes that I had mentioned earlier, which were a solid morning routine sets you up for a focused and energized day. I know from personal experience that when I do that 10 minute core workout, I am a better coach in my opinion. Like people might not notice a difference, but for me, how awake I want to be you know, because if I'm tired and sleepy and talking like this, it's not very exciting for those coming really in the morning. You're kind of their motivation and energy and you need to be on. That doesn't mean you need to be at like a 10, but you want to be on. And then that quote about lose an hour. So the other routine I have is that after I teach, I eat something. I used to walk the dog do my run or an aerobic workout afterwards. I noticed that when I was walking the dog and playing with her, when I would come back, I'd be rushing and stressed about getting the run in, especially if it was a longer run. So to capitalize on my morning and expand the routine past right when I get up, I switched the two and I started doing, I would eat, and then I would do my run or aerobic work. And then whatever time I had before my next class is when I would go play with the dog, take her out, you know, give her some time. And then I wasn't stressing about my run, being worried if I was going to get it in or not. Now, if I miss that hour or that time, however long it is, my day is backed up. Like the other day, I didn't, I did not do it. I was tired and I, I wanted to do it. And when I eat, I have to digest because I can't go run with food in my stomach. 
So I just procrastinated and I was like, I'll do it in the afternoon. But then I had a meeting that popped up. And so then I had to do it later, which meant I had to set a different chunk of time aside while I had some other stuff to do. So I lost time and then I spent the rest of the day trying to find that hour that I lost, metaphorically speaking. And that's why I like that quote, because you lose an hour in the morning and you will spend all day looking for it. You're trying to make it up because now you feel behind. And that routine of these core pieces of my life, like working out when I train, I try to keep a routine so I feel accomplished, confident in what I have completed, organized, and parceled out my time so I can get all my other work done. Now, sometimes there's an ebb and flow to that because I have personal training clients that come in. I have to make the podcast. I have to do mopping and vacuuming. All those things kind of shift, but those are later in the day. So if once I get those morning chunks out, the rest of the day is kind of smooth sailing for the most part. So I'd recommend picking a couple things that work for you and setting a routine. If you like yoga, do five minutes of yoga in the morning. If you're someone who has a really stiff back or knee pain, do a couple rehab exercises or stretching in the morning, five to 10 minutes. Keep it really short. Maybe put your favorite music on. The hardest part is starting the routine. But then once you get into the pattern, you kind of feel like you're lost without having done it. So let me know what morning routine you try. And if you're curious about the core cool program that I've been doing, hit me up. I'll tell you about it. Thank you so much for tuning into the Flex with Aaliyah. I will catch you next time. Remember, like, subscribe, comment. Bye.